Hello, in this series I would like to show you how to make a 2D top-down game in Unreal Engine 5. We will use the Paper ID plugin, we will set up the basic camera and the basic mind character and uh, the result of this episode will look like uh, this. You will be able to move the character around. So let's start the new project. Uh, we choose the games, we choose the top-down game because we want to actually build the top-down game and uh, write a name of the project and click the create button. Once the Unreal Engine creates the project, you will see the following main screen. In the middle, you see the current level of your game and you can also play the game there by clicking the uh, green arrow above that. Down there, you can see all the folders and uh, objects available in your project. And on the right side, there are all the objects which currently exist in your level. So in this project we will be using the Paper ZD uh, library, uh, which will help us with the 2D animation and everything else. I will send the link to Paper ZD plugin in the description of this video, but uh, since I have it already installed, I will just enable it here in this project. To do that, open the uh, Edit menu, click the plugins, and uh, search for the Paper ZD, and simply uh, click the check mark there and uh, restart the Unreal Engine. Once you are back we will check how the game looks like by default. So if you play it you can see the character can move around and uh, that's already like a big success. But we want to change the character and the way how it behaves and looks like. So to do that open the top down folder and blueprints and open the top down character and now you can see our character here. There are multiple components in the character, so let's go through them. The first one is the capsule, which defines the collisions for our character. The second one is the uh, mesh, which is how our character looks like. And then there is a spring arm and camera. Spring arm is uh, holding the camera, so it defines where the camera is, I mean how far and uh, at what angle uh, the camera sees the character. And because we are working on the top-down 2D game, we want the camera to see the character from the top. To do that, we simply click the rotate button and uh, rotate the spring arm to minus 90 degrees. And we also want to change the camera projection from perspective to orthographic. Uh, and now let's see how it looks like. So we already see that the camera moved to the top and uh, it is a little bit too close to the uh, character so let's fix that. Let's open the camera again and change the ortho width to 1000 which, move, which will move it like further away. Let's play again and see how it looks like and yeah that's much better because the character is not that close and we actually see some surroundings. Now change the way how our character looks like so let's open the characters folder and create new folder there called hero. Uh, let's open it and uh, create another folder there, which we will call sprites. This will basically hold our images. And uh, let's click the import button and open all the sprites we have. I will send the link to these uh, sprites uh, in the comments there. Now we will select all the images, right click them and uh, find the sprite actions and click the apply paper to the texture settings. And again right click and create sprite. And uh, this will ensure that we now have sprites created from the images. You can see that the images are named like idle up one, idle up two, and so on. So we have like four frames per each idle animation. And it's now time to create animation, which is called flipbook in the uh, Unreal Engine. To do that, select all the idle up sprites and uh, right click them and choose the create flipbook. And now you can see the flipbook has been created. Uh, name it like FB Hero Idle Up, so we know it's Idle Up animation. And now we will simply repeat that for all the other animations. So search for the next one, Idle Down, also create flipbook, name it FB Hero Idle Down, and basically repeat that for all the, all the animations, sorry, all the sprites you have there. Once you are done, you should end up with four flipbooks like that one for each direction. Now we want to use the down flipbook for our character. So open the top down character as we did before, uh, click the mesh 
and uh, remove the skeletal mesh asset so there is nothing we want to add the flipbook there so click the add button search for the flipbook and add it there actually it's called paper flipbook on the right side select the source flipbook and select the hero idol down uh, flipbook now if you zoom down to the flipbook you will see that it is there but it's actually extra small and uh, also it's uh, rotated to wrong direction because the camera is pointing to the flipbook from the top but uh, the flipbook is like pointing to the side so we will have to fix those two things so to fix the uh, size let's scale the flipbook up by scaling it in the transform section and to fix the rotation simply rotate the flipbook so the camera points directly towards it and not uh, to the side of the flipbook now if we uh, start the game again we should see that the flipbook is there and uh, the character can move around and we basically can control it obviously you can see there are two issues there the first one is that the flipbook is rotated upside down and the second one is that uh, the flipbook is also rotating based on the movement of the character while we want to stay it still so to fix this uh, rotation issue uh, let's open the top-down character again let's go to the character movement component and uh, search for the character movement part and uh, there is the there is the orient rotation to movement checkbox so uncheck it and uh, now if we hit play we should see that uh, the rotation based on the movement is disabled so this is the first thing the second one is rotation of the character which is upside down so simply we will simply solve it by rotating it here upside down which will actually rotate it to the right direction so use the rotation tool again and now if we hit the play it should uh, look look nice so let's test it out and we see that the character is moving the flip book is animating so it, it's good there is however another issue and uh, that's the movement speed of the character because as you can see it's uh, moving faster at the beginning it's accelerating and it's slowing down while you know we want to we want it to move in the constant speed so to fix it we will open the top down character again select the character movement and find the walking speed so set the max walking speed to 150 and also the min walking speed to 150 which will basically disable the acceleration we also want to set the uh, max acceleration and the braking friction factor to big number so both acceleration and braking is almost uh, instant if we run the game again you will see that the acceleration is now disabled and uh, it also like breaks at Im immediately which is what we want so this is all for this episode and uh, in the next one we will teach the character how to walk so please subscribe so you are notified about these episodes and it also helps me a lot thanks and see you next time